Hi, welcome to Ed Foodie. Today we're gonna cook out on the grill. We're gonna do some chicken. I've marinated it, uh, put it in a baggie, put in about a third of a bottle of any Italian dressing, um, Caesar dressing, something with oil and vinegar in it. Uh, let it sit in there for a couple hours, get it nice, moist, saturated with this uh, salad dressing. We're gonna go out to the grill. And then at the end, we're gonna to top it with some grilled peaches and some uh, brie cheese, which is a nice, very mild cheese. Um, the cheese we're gonna keep in the refrigerator. As you know, brie is a very soft cheese. We're, I'm gonna keep it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. And then it'll melt very quickly on top of the chicken. And that's gonna be it, but it's gonna, I think, taste really good. So let's go out to the grill. All right, I've got my grill up to about 375. I'm gonna try not to show you too much of my garage. I've, we're putting in a garden out back and the garage is a mess. We got fence material in here and dirt and everything else. Okay, so my marinated chicken, I'm gonna put directly on the grill. We can go ahead, let's go ahead and put the peaches on as well. We can take them off. And so I, what I've done is I got a peach, I cut it in half. Took the pit out and we're gonna put the peaches, of course, face side, cut side down. I've only got half my grill going, so I'm gonna put everything on this one side. And then when I think the peaches are done, I'll Stick them over here on the warmer side, just to keep it warm. All right, we'll close this up and let it go for maybe four or five minutes. All right, it's been four minutes. I'm trying to keep the grill right at about 400. Let's see what we got here on the peaches. Looks like we could go a little bit more. Let's do the peaches, maybe another two or three minutes. All right, I left them on there like another three minutes. Uh, they're starting to brown up kind of nice. So I'm gonna set them off to the side so that they continue to stay warm. And like I said, you'll have to check these yourself as you're cooking them because if it's in the middle of summer, these peaches will probably cook in three minutes. Uh, this is end of February in Houston and the peaches, you know, are not necessarily really nice and ripe. All right, we'll turn our chicken over. That looks good there. What I like to do, I'll take this leftover um, dressing and just pour it on top. Let's go ahead and do salt and pepper to taste. I'm not gonna put too much salt or salt and other spices in the uh, Italian dressing. All right, let's close this up. We'll cook it maybe another four minutes till we get that other side of the chicken done. And it's so amazing here in the Houston area. A week ago, this is, like I said, February 2021. We just had one of the worst winter storms, ice free snow. You could think of it's been like a hundred years since uh, something like this has happened in Houston and a week later we're 80 degrees and grilling out in the backyard. All right, I think our chicken is done. I'm going to uh, flip it over. Uh, just to cook that where I poured the, the leftover uh, Italian dressing to get that on the bottom. And then now what we're gonna do, here's my uh, brie cheese. I just sliced it like right down the, you know, comes like in a pie shape. So I'll put one, you know, let give it room to melt. So what I'm gonna do now is just turn my grill off. Close it for maybe just a couple minutes. Give that cheese a chance to melt. All right, I'm gonna pull this off. The cheese looks like it's nice and melted. I'm 
peaches seem to be nice and soft now. All right, so here it is on a serving platter. I'm gonna spoon a little bit of, uh, I have cilantro lime salsa, but I think, um, like I said, the, the peach salsa or the mango salsa would be really nice on this. Now we'll top it with, I took those peach halves and I sliced each one into like three slices. So we'll put three on each chicken breast. There we have it, looks beautiful. All right, so I want to try to get a little bit of the salsa, the cheese, and a peach in one bite. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Of course, I love brie cheese as well, so. So there you have a pretty, actually pretty quick, easy meal. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Ed Foodie over there. And thank you for watching.